a painful memory every time it replays in my head. In junior high school, the girl who pretended to ask me out was my first crush, but I was the one crushed instead, and I vowed to never fall in love again. Ugh, that stupid dream again. My name's Tomoaki Koga. I'm in my second year of high school. Due to circumstances, I moved out of my hometown to attend high school, and I'm living on my own. I'm satisfied with my quiet, solitary life. When I'm home, I take it easy and play video games. At school, I study and keep to myself. I have the best grades, but it's not because I particularly enjoy studying. My classmates see me as a loner and a weirdo, and that's okay. If I can maintain this easygoing life until I graduate and go to college, that'd be great. Tomoki, can I ask you about something? What is it? Um, can we talk elsewhere? I want to ask you out. Oh, I see what's going on now. In that case, my answer is no. Whoa! Could you at least let me ask properly? The girl asking me out is my classmate, Yori Ayakawa. She's one of the most attractive girls in school, and all of the guys talk about her. They say she's cool and mysterious, like she could be a high school detective. Following that logic, she looks like she'd be a clumsy detective. This is a dare, isn't it? I heard you playing rock, paper, scissors. Not quite. We're playing for a privilege. What privilege? One where the winner like myself gets to ask you out. I see. So the other girls you were playing with also intend to ask me out. Well, I object. And I object to your objection. I want to do this the right way. Why? Because I like you. There's the confession. We can end this right here. Even if you turn me down, there are other girls waiting to ask you out. Doesn't matter who it is. My answer is still no, starting with you. My name's Lori. Not you, but you can call me Lorin. Why would I do that? We're not that close. And I'm gonna call you Tomo P. Cut it out! That nickname doesn't suit me at all. Then let's make a deal. I'll stop if you go out with me. You're a terrible negotiator. This is stupid. Tomo P, where are you going? I said cut it out! I'm going home. Hold on, I'll go with you. I didn't want her following, so I ran as fast as I could. But she managed to catch up. <sighs> wow, you're fast. You're pretty fast too. Do you actually like me that much? Yes, I do. As I caught my breath, I tried to think of what I could do about her. Each of my cells was screaming that getting involved with her would lead to nothing good. My easygoing life would be in danger because of her. So it's come to this. Fine, I'll hear you out, but nothing more. My plan was to hear her out, turn her down, and then turn down every girl after her. I calculated that if I got past this, I could return to my life of peace and solitude. Assuming the other girls aren't as crazy as Iori anyway. There's no one else here, so it should be easier, right? Aww. I was hoping to do this in a more romantic location. Why, you... Oh well. This is fine, too. What a pain. <sighs> I've had a crush on you since last year. I see. Sorry to hear that. And now that we're in the same class, my feelings are even stronger. Uh-huh. Sorry to hear that. So, if it's okay, please? Actually, could you stop saying sorry while I'm telling you how much I like you? Sorry about that. I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> Not so fast! What now? What's left to say? <sighs> please go out with me! <sighs> what do you even see in me? I'm a study-holic and an introvert, I'm not that well off, and I have no sense of humor. Whether it's you or other girls, I have zero eye for women. Wow, what a pessimistic way to talk about yourself. Just telling it as it is. But you're also kind. Okay, and so what? 
There are plenty of guys who are kind out there. It's more than just that. When I saw your kindness, I thought that it must have been good luck. Or even love. I don't get it. Anyway, even if you turn me down today, I'll still have all week. Back up. What are you talking about? My privilege to ask you out. I'll make you my boyfriend within a week. And you can't put all that effort elsewhere? <sighs> and so began my week with Iori. True to her word, she spent the next day and the day after asking me out. On one hand, it was actually kind of depressing. On another, the mystery deepened. Where does she find the motivation to keep trying despite me turning her down every time? There's no way she actually likes me this much. After all, I've had walls around my heart since I started high school. On the fourth day... See you in front of the station at one o'clock tomorrow. Excuse me? I don't remember agreeing to this. What? You didn't think I'd ask you on a date? I did, but I was trying not to. I have three days left to make you my boyfriend. It'd be a shame if we didn't go out on at least one date. Listen, I already have plans for my day off. What? Like flushing out ant hills with hot water? Ouch. Is that what you think of the guy you're trying to go out with? Anyway, I've got games to play. You mean like video games? Yeah, so what? I didn't expect that. I thought you meant you had to study or something. I study plenty during school. All the smart students say they don't study at home. But they've all got their noses in their textbooks. And what would be the point in lying to you? Speaking of which, midterms are coming up. I'll just wing those. Are you an idiot? All right then. If you can solve this problem, I'll go out with you. Okay, bring it. It's just a math problem from yesterday's class. It ought to be a breeze. Oh, I give up. That was fast. I've had my assumptions, but you really are dumb. I... I just have subjects I'm bad with. You do too, don't you? I really thought you were smarter. I'm disappointed. Listen, I do my best every day. You didn't deny what I said. Okay. So what subjects are you bad at? <sighs> Japanese, math, I'm bad at science and social studies too. Oh, and English. That's practically every subject! I'm good at health and PE though. Right. I think I have the idea. In front of the station at 1, you said? Huh? Be ready to stay for the night, just in case. What did you just say? I'll explain everything to your parents, so I'll need your phone number too. As agreed, we met at the station the next day, and I took Iori to my apartment. Wow! So this is where we're going to live! Sorry, no time for daydreams. Let's get started. Oh my gosh, aggressive, aren't you? Can't you wait till I've had a bath first? <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little carried away. <sighs> uh-huh. I know. I'm here to study. I love studying. <laughs> I had no intentions other than to help her study. That was the reason I asked Iori's parents to let her stay the night. While on the phone, I heard them telling her to be careful before entrusting me with their daughter. All right, let's start. Okay, I appreciate the help. Three hours later. Tomoki, do you know the phrase fait accompli? Why are you asking? It's just two of us here in your apartment on the weekend. And I'm even staying over. That much is set. And we're studying, I guess. But what if anyone else knew about this? What would they think? Wouldn't they just think you're here for a study session? And what exactly would I be studying, do you think? Japanese? Math? English? One of the main subjects, probably. <sighs> No! It has to be health and P.E. Enough of the small talk and get back to work. <laughs> You've already fallen for my act. I'm just pretending to be a student who's bad at studying. By the way, that's not the right answer. Soon enough, we'd been studying for five hours. I'm sorry, I can't do any more of this. The words won't stay in my head. 
I don't even know what I'm writing anymore. Just another hour. Otherwise, I'm gonna start calling you Gasalt. Whatever. That's fine. Please just end this already. Giving up, huh? Let's have dinner then. Dinner? Where at? We're going to a diner in the neighborhood, my dear Gasalt. On second thought, please don't call me that. How about I make dinner? I have great grades in home ec. So you know, I've got nothing but water and ice in my fridge. No problem. I got groceries on my way here today, and I put them in the fridge already. I see. I can't tell if she's dumb or if she's thorough. Fifty minutes later... The Amaris is ready! Wow, you made it look good. I can vouch for the taste too. I help my mom make these every day. I see. While I'm at it, why are you dressed like a maid? You know, just in case. For later. <laughs> so you're saying that changing into your maid outfit will help you study better, right? Mm, that's not it! And stop judging me! Did she seriously make dinner while wearing that? Hmm. This is... You like it? How does it taste? It tastes... just like almond rice. I'd be just as surprised if you told me it tasted like curry. But seriously, this is really good. Good enough for us to start dating? Not that good. I thought you might say that. But it still hurts to be shut down so swiftly. By the way, are you against having a girlfriend? Let's flip the question. Why do you want to be my girlfriend so badly? Because... I'm in love with you. You said that, but you can tell by now, right? I'm not worth pursuing. That's not true! I'm here today because you couldn't watch me fail our midterms, right? Well, at this rate, society's going to go downhill. I don't think I'm that influential. I wouldn't be so sure. We're getting off topic. Tell me why you won't go out with anyone. It's not really worth talking about. A girl asked me out as a dare back in junior high. So that's why you suspected me when I first talked to you? Yeah. And it wasn't right of me. Sorry about that. It didn't bother me that much. Is that all it is? The girl who did it was my childhood friend and my first crush. Huh. As much as that hurt, I still care about her a lot. She means a lot to me because we grew up together. But I apparently don't mean a thing to her. I didn't think we'd practically become complete strangers. Yori? Why are you crying? When I tried to imagine it, I think it must have hurt so much. And the tears started coming out. You're the type to cry easily, huh? That's not a bad thing. And... You'd probably think I'm lame for this, but I still like her. I didn't want to become bitter, so I moved away and enrolled here. You still like her? You, re you really don't hate her? I'm not really sure, to be honest. If anything, I just know that I don't want to hate her. She's still an important childhood friend to me, you know? Anyway, that's the end of my silly sob story. Let's clean up the dishes. Yori? I'm here, you know. What do you mean? I know I can't replace her, but I promise I'll stay by your side. Yori, thank you. It feels like you saved me somehow. Your face doesn't show that at all. I haven't done enough yet. I'm okay now. Really, I am. So you can stop crying now. I held her for a long time as she cried in my arms. I managed to calm her down after stroking her hair. I started to think it'd be a shame to turn away a kind girl like her. I continued to help Iori with schoolwork after that. Her week-long privilege to ask me out had since passed, and I was starting to enjoy our time together. Other girls who had been interested in asking me out let the matter go after seeing me and Iori together. I wanted to open up to Iori, to trust her more. Could I do it? My junior high experience taught me that trusting others led to pain. But she greeted me with a bright smile every day. Tomoki, let's have lunch together. Uh, is there something on my face? Yeah, eyes, a nose, a mouth. 
<laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> her carefree smile was beautiful and sweet. I could relax around her. Man, whatever happened to her cool and mysterious vibe? One day after school, Iori was worn out from all of our studying. Let's finish early today. Huh? But we just started. This is somewhere I want to go. You brought it up before, right? That there's a new cafe in front of the station that you wanted to go to? Then, do you mean... Uh, don't think too hard about it. It just caught my interest too. But if you don't want to go, I'll just go alone. Oh, I'm definitely going. Can I go with you? If you want to, I guess. Oh my gosh, yay! <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. Something must be wrong with me. I'm totally getting fond of her. Are you looking forward to this too? Yeah, a bit. We made our way to the cafe while carrying on with small talk. Tamaki, is that you? Rico. And you two are on a date too? <laughs> That's so funny. Her name is Rico Kuzuhara. She's my childhood friend and the girl who broke my heart. I didn't expect to just run into her out here. Who's he, Rico? An ex-boyfriend? He's more of a childhood friend. But actually, I asked him out as part of a dare. Wow, you're awful. <laughs> Did you ask me out on a dare, too? No way. <laughs> you're my precious sweetie. <sighs> hey, Tomoki, you moved away, right? Was that because of me? My bad. Back then, right? That was just how the game went. Nothing personal. No hard feelings, right? Yeah. You had a crush on me, right? Oh, super sorry. I feel bad about what happened, you know? By the way, that girl you're with, she's as pretty as me. You know how to pick them out, don't you? Um, I have to disagree. Huh? What do you mean? I mean that he's a terrible judge of character for having a crush on someone like you. Oh, Yori. Excuse me? Did you just diss me? If that's how you understand it, I suppose I did. While I'm at it, you're just as bad at judging people too. Is that so? You're really annoying, you know that? That makes the two of us. I was just thinking the same thing about you, actually. Oh, really? Now I think Tomoki must really be a terrible judge for picking you. I at least have seen what kind of person Tomoki is. He's usually curt with people, but he'll always talk to children with a smile. Did you know that? I fell for him immediately when I saw him reach out to help lost children. That's not all. He'll help out even when he doesn't want to. He puts serious effort into everything, and he won't ignore anyone in trouble. He's so much more amazing than you know. I love him, but thanks to you, he won't even acknowledge my feelings. Sure, some of it's my own fault, but he told me that he still cares about you, even now. You're still important to him. Yori, that's enough. No, I'm not done yet. I said that's enough. There's a weight off my chest thanks to you. But... Come on. Do you really want the cafe to close while we're standing here? Like she said, I still value you as my childhood friend, Rico. Tomoki, I... I'm sorry. It's in the past. I'm glad I ran into you. Later. Wait! It seemed like Rico had more to say, but I turned away and left with Iori. Uh, still thinking about earlier? Of course I am. Are you really okay with walking away like that? Pretty much. She apologized, didn't she? But still... She wasn't always like that. Rico was brighter and more caring when we were kids. But her dad ran away to be with another woman. That's how she became like how you saw her today. Oh. Everyone's got their circumstances. That's why I'm not hung up over this. All right, if you say so. While we're on the topic, thanks for standing up for me. That's not all. 
She made me angry, that's all. You also cried for me before, and you smile whenever we talk. It makes me happy, you know. Tomoki! I want to thank you somehow, but I can't think of anything. What would you like? Be my boyfriend! Sorry, I can't do that. Oh, come on! You're supposed to say yes, I will in this situation! We've got midterms coming up. I don't think you have time for romance. You stickler. Fine then. I swear I'll pass them with all high scores. And come midterms, Yori did exactly what she said she'd do. Feast your eyes on these! Wow! You got over 80 points in every subject! That's awesome! I know, right? Now I have time for romance, don't I? But it's all because you worked so hard to help me. Glad to hear it. I'm sure your parents will be happy too. About that. They think really highly of you. They said I should marry you. And I said I'd love that, you know? Yori, please keep in mind that I also have a say in all of this. Aww. This is where you're supposed to go for a proposal. Let's get married. Consider the implications of what you're saying first. But I wouldn't be against dating. What? What did you just say? Nothing. I heard you say you're not against dating. Then don't ask me to repeat myself. Anyway, you sure you want me? Yep! <laughs> We're official now! I... I guess we are. Opening my heart to others is hard, but if I'm with her, I feel like I'll be able to. I want to treasure her, since her feelings for me have been so strong. Thank you for coming, Aisaka. I, Yuta Aisaka, was told by the CEO to meet him here. What did I do this time? You said you wanted to talk to me about something? What is this all about? Actually, I want to ask you a favor. You want to ask me for a favor? Is there a new project or something? I work as an engineer at a big systems operation company. I'm only 27 years old, but I've already been promoted to project manager. Normally, the boss doesn't directly give me new projects, but maybe this time it's from a company that the boss knows personally. Or so I thought. No, this is about work. It's personal. Forgive me for being rude, but you don't currently have a girlfriend, right? <laughs> oh, um, yes. I've actually never had a girlfriend. And no, I'm not making fun of you. <coughs> Sorry about that. I might have let my insecurity slip. Uh, oh! Anyways, I have a good proposition for you. Will you go on an Omimai with my daughter? An Omimai with the CEO's daughter? Why me? I'm just a lowly employee. You are an excellent employee and everyone speaks very highly of you. I trust you. That's why I want you to meet my daughter. Oh. Forgive me if I'm being rude. But is there a special reason you're asking me? Well, she is a little problematic. I knew it! There would be no way the CEO would ask a lowly employee like me to have an omimai with his daughter if there wasn't something wrong with her. If she's the daughter of the CEO, maybe she's out of control? This is the picture of my daughter. Hmm? She seems like a very mild tipper girl. To put it bluntly, She's very plain. It's hard to think this is the CEO's daughter. Because of some special circumstances, she's dressed like that. So what do you think? Will you go on a date with her? Well, you've always been such a great boss to me. Sure, please let me meet her. Really? I thought you would say yes. I'm looking forward to you meeting her. It's not a bad idea to have the CEO owe me a favor. And if we don't get along, I'm sure she'll be the one to reject me. I'll at least go on an Omimai with her. And it was the day at the Omimai. I can't believe we're meeting at this expensive restaurant. Rich people really do live differently. But I didn't know that the CEO wasn't coming. I had known the meeting time and place, but the CEO just called me to say he couldn't come because something came up. 
but it's hard to think that even if he had something important to do, he couldn't come to the Omimai of his crush's daughter. So I don't think something came up, but that he just wasn't planning on coming in the first place. He tricked me. It's this way. Thank you. The restaurant employee led me to the table. I guess his daughter was already there. Now there's no telling what'll happen. Excuse me. Hmm. You're here 30 minutes early. I see why my father pushed for me to meet you. Um... Am I in the wrong room? Who is this woman? Why are you just standing there? Oh, um... Are you Kaori Sagani? Yes, that's me. And you're Yuta Akisaka, right? So this is her. I'm sorry, it's just that you look really different than the picture your father showed me. I still feel like she's not the same person from the photo. She just looks so different. I didn't want a man who wants to meet me just because of my looks, so I made sure to look plain in that photo. That way, a man who's only interested in a woman's looks wouldn't agree to meet me, right? Oh, I see. So this is what the CEO meant when he said because of some special circumstances she's dressed like that. Dang, I knew he was tricking me. And his daughter seems tricky too. And there's one more thing I need to tell you. I don't want to get married. My father is just annoying, so that's why I came to this Amai. So please, don't have any expectations. I see. She's a troublesome girl. Since we both are interested in marriage, we could just leave. But if we did, who knows what the CEO would say. Unfortunately, we'll just have to go through with this Omimai for today. After that, we briefly introduce ourselves and start eating. Since it was an expensive restaurant, every dish was very extravagant. The CEO was paying for this meal, so I didn't have to worry about the check. But I did wonder how much the bill would be. At least had to cost so much that I could never pay for it with my salary. So, where are we going? After we finished eating and left the restaurant, Miss Asuki Saka started asking me about our next plan. Is there anything you want to do? Isn't the man supposed to plan the date? Of course, I have a tentative plan, but I also thought it was important to ask what the woman wants to do. Especially for a woman who's strong-willed like her. If I tried to take the lead, I'm sure she would complain about something. I see. Then let's see what you've got. I could decide where we're going, but I want to see if you can satisfy me with your date plan. It's like a game to you, huh? Well, isn't it? If you're able to make me fall for you, you get my father's estate and his company. She's saying that I would be the next CEO. I sometimes forget since he's already speaking to me directly. But he is the CEO of a large company. I'm not really interested in money or being a CEO, though. And you lose one point. You really think I would believe that? Everyone wants money. Don't say such stupid lies. I'm not lying. If we do end up getting married, I can sign a contract that I won't get a dime with Mr. Sakami's money if you want. You don't have to do that. That would be too much trouble anyway. And I would never fall for you. She's a little twisted. Alright then, let's go to the zoo. The zoo? That's unexpected. I don't think so. I made this date plan thinking I was going on a date with a mild mare girl, so I guess it is a little unexpected. This car is small. I'm sorry, but I'm not rich like you, Miss Sakami. Why are you smiling when I'm complaining? I won't get mad about something like this. Compared to my client's ridiculous demands, this is nothing. And we head to the zoo in my car. Hmm. What's wrong? When we got to the zoo, Miss Sakami was looking around, looking worried. Nothing. Hmm? Why is she getting closer to me? Is she maybe... Do you maybe not like crowns? Oh! No! What are you saying? She's getting mad. I guess I was gone on. If you're scared, shall we go someplace else? I'm not scared. Crowds mean nothing to me. Oh, wait. What? Why are you grabbing my arm? Don't scare me like that. No, I'm not trying to scare you. 
We just need to buy tickets. Huh? If we don't buy tickets, we can't get in, you know? Oh, I, I know that. We just need to pay over there, right? Miss Sagami pointed over to the entrance of the zoo. There's an employee standing there, but... It's a little farther away, so I think it was hard to see. But we get the ticket to the employee there, but it's not where we pay. What? We buy tickets over there. I'm guessing she's never come to the zoo before. Huh. I can't believe you would let me make a mistake like that on purpose. You're mean. I didn't make you think that, though. She's the one who put on a front. But I guess this kind of clumsiness is cute. And we bought tickets and entered the zoo. She's grabbing my jacket sleeve. Is she afraid of the crowd? No one's going to hurt you. It's okay. I I'm not scared. I'm just holding on to you because I don't want us to get separated in this crowd. I don't want you to get lost. Am I a child? She's only pretending to be tough, but I'm not going to call her on it. If I call her on it, I might get to see a cute reaction, but I don't want her to get too mad. <sighs> Why is he growling? I didn't do anything! It's okay. As long as it's in the cage, it can't hurt us. That cage won't break? If the lion could break the cage, it already would have. It's made of iron, so we'll be okay. Okay, you're pretty brave. Having her say that at a zoo isn't really a compliment. Anyways, if anything happens, I'll protect you, so please relax. I said this because she was scared of not only the crowd, but also the animals inside the cages. And after that... There's a white tiger? I thought tigers were yellow! That's a white tiger. Some tigers have white fur. But it's not like they're a special species, it's a mutation. Why is it standing on two legs? I thought they walk on four legs. When a red panda is being intimidating, it stands up like that. Why is it trying to intimidate me? Hmm, I wonder why. Every time we saw a new animal, she was surprised. It was very cute. Uh, I'm so tired. By the time we left the zoo, Miss Sagami was exhausted. Since she was so surprised at everything, I guess it can't be helped. I haven't been to the zoo since I was a kid, but it's still fun as an adult. I had fun. Thanks. Oh, I see. Well, of course you would. You were with me. I guess it kind of was thanks to her. She seems really tired. Do you want to go home? Huh? You seem exhausted. I don't want you to overexert yourself. I guess. Okay, I'll go home now. I thought she would say I'm not tired and try to act tough, but I guess she really was tired. I guess she's pretty honest at times like these. Okay then, here. Your phone? Your number. We haven't exchanged numbers yet. Oh, so we're exchanging numbers. I thought she didn't want to, so I was surprised. I thought today was the last time I would ever see her. We exchanged numbers, I drove her to Mr. Sagami's house. Are you free next Saturday? Does that mean... Today ended abruptly because of me, so I thought I need to make up for it. I guess she liked me enough to ask me on a second date. But I don't know why she's interested in me. And from then on... I'm only hanging out with you because I was bored. On my days off, she would ask me out. Maybe she gets lonely easily, and the days went on. Hey, why don't you come work for me? She even invited me to work at her company. This is sudden, but don't you think Mr. Sagami will have something to say about that? If he wants us to get married, he needs to at least be okay with this. Well... But do you even need me at your company? N not particularly. But I thought you would want to work at my company, that's all. Oh. S see, if you come work for me, I can give you more money and benefits. And all you'll have to do is help me with my work. It'll be very easy. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm sorry. You just look so cute trying so desperately to convince me. 
cute! Okay, I'll come work for you. I don't know if it'll be easy helping her with work, but I can tell she wants me to work for her really badly. I'm used to Misagami not being honest. I think Hot and Cold personality is cute. So I want to support her. Really? Yes, really. A man doesn't go back on his word. Okay then. Let's go see my father right now. And we can start the paperwork first thing on Monday. Please, just calm down for a second. I can't just leave now. I have projects I'm still working on, and I need to teach my subordinates about the work. So please let me finish that first. Mm. Please don't pout. I'm not pouting! That's what she said, but anyone could tell she was pouting. She's quite childish. After that, I made sure to at least let the CEO know that I would be quitting, but... There's no way I will allow this! Ah. He surprisingly yelled at us. Well, the one he was yelling at was Nisagami. Don't involve business in your private life. And Nakisaki is a very valuable employee at my company. If he left, do you know what kind of trouble that would cause? You're the one who mixed business and your private life first. What did you say? Oh! Let's all just calm down. Mr. Sakami, this is something I want to do. Akisaka. I want to support Kaori. Akisaka! Of course. So I won't cause any other employees any problems. I will stay until this project is done. I will teach my subordinates everything they need to know. So please, won't you allow us? No, but... If you leave our company... Please, sir! P please <sighs> Fine. If you want to go that badly, I'll allow it. Thank you! Anyways, if it's what you really want, Akisaki, I'm not going to stalk you. But in return, I need you to promise to look after my daughter. Of course! And now that Mr. Sagmi had allowed me to work at Kaori's company, the more time I spent supporting Kaori, the closer we got. And we got married. To be honest, the first time I met her, I never imagined something like this happening. But as I spent more time with her, I learned that Kaori has a hard time being honest. And this is actually a very loving and cute person. And so I decide to support her both privately and at work from now on. Spring of my junior year of high school, I, Mamoru Yuzawa, ran into a wild beautiful girl that was crying. This was super rare. <laughs> I saw her from afar, and in my mind, I had three options. Fight, item, and run away. Hmm... She's using tears, which is a water type, so I could potentially exploit that. But me, being an introvert type, makes me automatically weak against her. I wish I had an electricity type Pokemon. But I can't just leave her alone here. I stared at the mysterious beautiful girl. Even if I tried to make her feel better, it might not be that big of a deal. It may just be that she's cold, or had some dust in her eyes. Or she could be shocked and upset that there are only 24 hours in a day. I understand that. The second I talk to her, I'm just a stranger talking to her. Which means I need to calm down and watch her from afar. Which means I need to know what kind of problems she has first. Hey, do you have a second? Ugh. There have been reports of a suspicious person staring at a girl. You've mistaken me for someone else. I had to spend 30 minutes explaining myself. Um, are you okay? If I just sit there and observe, others are also going to think I'm suspicious. So I decided to talk to her since she'd been crying the whole time. She looked even more beautiful up close. A beautiful bright brown and a cute innocent face. She's got perfect proportions. She seemed to be college age or something like that. How did the world's wolves not talk to this beautiful crying woman? I need to call the cops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I already had that happen. I just didn't want to leave you alone because you're crying. Even if it was a man? I wouldn't leave him alone either. If it was a 150 kilogram MMA fighter type person? Hmm. 
This person isn't doing too bad. I guess I would be cautious if a stranger talked to me too. Want me to go to that bench over there? I don't think I hear you. Dang, I didn't think this through. <laughs> You're funny. She finally smiled. I took a deep breath of relief. Hey, can you let me vent a little? I mean, sure. I was the one that talked to her, but... I don't know if I'm the right one for this. In conclusion, she was dumped by her boyfriend after he had an affair. That's the worst! Right? I cannot believe people who cheat. You're a shitty human and a shitty man. I can't even date a single woman! How about you learn a thing or two from me? Hmm. <laughs> you made the right decision just leaving. I think so too, but oh, I can't stop crying because I'm so upset. I don't blame you. <laughs> I kind of embarrassed myself though, huh? You can cry on my shoulder. Oh, I'll pass on that. Okay then. Ugh, now I'm getting irritated. Hey! Huh? She suddenly started shifting to anger. She no longer looked like an innocent small creature needing to be protected. My name is Kurumi Akazawa. Why is she introducing herself to me? Like to some random geek? Th that's a cute name! That's not why I told you. Okay. I'm Mamoru Izawa. Hey, Mamoru-kun. Oh, okay. We're on a first name basis. Beautiful girls really are held to a different standard. She's closing the distance at Mach 5.4. A regular geek would make someone scream and run away at that rate. You have a girlfriend? That's a tough question to ask a guy like me. Of course not. This good looking guy has been single for his whole life. Then you should go out with me. Huh, <sighs> interesting proposition. Hmm, <laughs> there's finally someone who sees my appeal. <sighs> it's so tough being great looking. You really get tired of women coming on to you, you know? Oh, just pretend though. Oh. She wanted me to pretend to be her boyfriend to show off to her ex. She wanted him to know she was doing fine. Was she sure she wanted me of all people? Oh well. I'm okay with going public with a beautiful girl like her. I don't think I'll ever have a date with a girl this beautiful. I am so excited for this amazing ride. Oh, hey, over here! I was super excited while I was waiting, and she just showed up out of the crowd. She came running towards me, and she just looked so incredibly beautiful. Is this where I say green eggs and ham? You can tell me I look good. Dr. Seuss, you are useless. <laughs> but I'm guessing you wanted to compliment me, so thank you. Hmm. A uh, man with manners must compliment at a woman's looks. I think saying that out loud is going against a man's manners. I have no experience with women, so how am I supposed to know? You brought it up. So, where are we going? Hmm, I want to go somewhere that'll look good, you know? Somewhere we can take photos, a cafe, or the amusement park. C cafe uh, Amusement park? Why are you trembling? My body was reacting to this... extrovert activity. You're an interesting fella. Come on, clock's ticking. She grabbed my trembling hand and we walked together. We moved to a cafe and ordered a very sugary, rizful dope dessert. We immediately took photos. Say cheese! Ch cheese That's an interesting face, young man. Excuse you. I know I'm probably late asking this, but... Are you sure you were okay with me being the guy you wanted? If Akazawa-san wanted, she could find someone better looking. It's fine. I do want to one-up him, but it's not like I'm okay with anyone. But I look like this. If I had to compare myself to her ex, it was a clear victory. Oh, he was the victor, of course. <laughs> Looks aren't everything. You think so? Yeah, I definitely learned that lesson the hard way. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Besides, you seem kind and probably won't do anything weird. And you're funny, so it works out. 
Being complimented by a beautiful girl makes me feel... anxious. This is probably how virgins start misunderstanding things, huh? You're kind of a nerd sometimes, though. If you're gonna compliment me, you could at least stay consistent. She chuckled. She did tease me, but honestly, I couldn't help but grin seeing her have fun. <laughs> oh, I got this. I... I can't have the woman pay. I made you come out with me. You'd be surprised at how much money a college student has. I thought she was older, but... I see. She was in college. Thank you for today. No, no. Thank you for coming. I'll be heading out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Memorican, it's only been like half an hour since we met up. You... you gotta let go of me. Me being in an extroverted environment like this, my mental fortitude won't last. But I'm going to have you come out next week, and the week after that too. I think I can handle it once a week. What? Come on, we're out now, let's go somewhere. That's fine. What did you want to do? Hmm, a bar? Wow, that's definitely not what you should recommend to someone who's underage. And it's the middle of the day, too. Her passion won me over, and I ended up staying out with her. We headed to a nearby movie theater. So, you chose the movies. It's a pretty normal date, don't you think? I've never gone on a date with a girl. Oh, uh, sorry. No, no, don't worry. So, what did you want to watch? Huh? Didn't we come because you wanted to watch something? I just figured if I watched something with you, I'd have fun. I'm sorry. Can I take her back to my place? There were quite a few movies playing. Action, sci-fi, rom-coms. Which one would you want to watch, Mamarukin? Let's see. I think something that's so funny, I won't be so focused on the beautiful girl next to me. <laughs> you can't just be smooth like that. I was being dead serious. A geek like me, it's pretty tough for me to not focus on a beautiful girl. Let's watch this. She chose the movie with the biggest poster of them all. Okay. You might be surprised, but I actually kind of like romance movies. Ah, oh, what a coincidence. I like them too. So we ended up buying tickets to the romance movie and went to watch the movie. Two hours later, we had so much fun. It was such a great story and the acting was spot on. It was great, but what is this awkwardness? It, it was incredible, huh? Side note, I wouldn't say there were any action scenes in the movie. It was so fast-paced. Side note, it was a romance movie. I would say that was definitely a fast-paced movie for a romance movie. I was nervous, but I had fun. I don't know why it gets so awkward when you watch a romance movie with the opposite gender. It's really strange, but... Want to talk about the movie? Yeah, let's do that. It really was a good movie. We decided to talk about it in her room. It was my first time being in a girl's room. I was super excited, but also very nervous. The opinion exchange actually got so heated that the nervousness was blown away. I cannot believe that the main character made it in time for the heroine's return! That's totally not fair! Seriously! Even I was like, ah! I just feel like all the characters were so good! No, seriously. It's so unfair. They should look at reality. There are introverts like me. We exist! Right, there are the men who cheat, you know? And there's the landmine I just walked on. And it's all just blah, 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 you know? She tumbled onto her bed. Ugh, what the hell am I even doing after watching that movie? What are you talking about? Revenge on my ex. The amazing love in that movie makes me seem so pitiful. That's true. It's pretty miserable to try to do something with love that's already ended. There's no beauty in that, and although he cheated, you're sort of dragging it on. But... I think it's all right. Huh? I mean, miserable or pitiful, whatever. We're not perfect people in a perfect story. 
Uh, what? Did I say something weird? I just didn't expect you to make me feel better. Sorry, I didn't mean to be high and mighty. No, it's really okay. She showed me a smile. She was so beautiful and it made me so nervous that I just looked away. If I were dating you, this never would have happened. What are you talking about? She's seriously the queen of misleading lines. Uh, I would never have an affair. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry that I dragged you into this, but I'm gonna give up on the revenge part. She looked better after she said that. Like the fog had lifted. Okay. That means I don't get to see her anymore. Goodbye, dates with a beautiful girl. Oh, but we should hang out again. I like being around you. I'd be glad to do that, but why are you sitting next to me? You smell so good. You smell so good, you're making my heart flutter. <laughs> you have the cutest reactions. She teased me, but she just seems so different than before. This is probably who she really was. I don't know why, but I was happy. Two weeks passed since then. I just stumbled into her one day and started seeing her, but we still have a relationship going. Aya, Namaru! She was waving at me from the school entrance. She's beautiful and mature looking. That alone made some of the kids kind of murmur under their breaths. <sighs> Who is that? She's so good looking! I'm gonna go to the person that's at the center of attention right now? This is a pretty tough hurdle to leap for an introvert. Why are you here? We did make plans to hang out today, but we were supposed to meet up at the station. I mean, I used to go here too. Nostalgia got the best of me. Wow, you put your thoughts into action quick. Beautiful women really are something else. So, where did you want to go today? We moved because it was going to attract too much attention. We headed to the train station. Hmm, how about we go eat? That sounds good. I gotta make my own dinner today, because my parents won't be coming home till later tonight anyway. But it's still early for dinner. We had to burn some time till then. We can hang out at my room, but... Going to a woman's house so frequently. <laughs> I can hear it before I even say it. Why do you invite a man to your house so easily anyway? I mean, maybe that's just how college students are. <sighs> is that where you... Is that where you sigh? It's exactly where I sigh. Do you think I'm the kind of girl that invites men over? Like it's not a big deal? Oh, uh... Honestly, remember her crying after being cheated on? No, I don't think that's the kind of girl she is. She's probably loyal and takes care of those she finds important. But, I mean, I don't know how college students are. I've barely talked to the opposite gender. I don't know what's weird or normal. That's it, young man. What's it? I wouldn't invite you over if I didn't like you. I was nervous after hearing that. She'd said a lot of things that were misleading, but... You're really gonna mislead me. Uh, sorry. That was a little tough for the introvert, huh? Whoa, now she's selling fights with me. Don't worry, I'll buy what you're selling. We've got some time. Let's go to that cafe we went to before. Oh, that first time I ever took a photo with a girl? Do you feel good about yourself when you say things like that? Oh my, you have no idea. Anyway, like I was saying... We walked a little, and made it back to the cafe that we went to on our first... date. I don't do this with just anyone. That subject again? I think it's your fault for being slow to pick up on cues. I've only been thinking about you after I wake up recently. Huh? I was shocked at the sudden bomb that was dropped on me. I mean, there's a lot where you're really weird and suspicious and you're not really good with girls, but it's cute, you know? Being with you is fun, and you're loyal and kind. I think the girl you fall for is a lucky girl. Hey, Namarukin, did you figure out why I wanted you to come over? I think even I understood that one. I'm pretty sure I'm not mistaken. 
this is. We just recently met. It's your fault for being so kind. Otherwise, we never would have met. I feel like anyone would be worried in that situation. I think they would all talk to a woman who was crying alone. The world isn't that nice. People are worried about ulterior motives, you know? They won't say anything. I learned that after going to college. But that's why I was so happy. I said this much. I think the rest is up to you. She was right. No matter how nervous and shy I was, after hearing all that and me not saying anything back, it would be a damn shame. I don't want to be shameful in front of her. But the answer was pretty much set in stone already. Oh, but I'm not asking you to answer me right now. Akazawa-san. Hmm? Are you sure you want me? She looked at me like she was a little shocked for a split second. But that was only a split second. She smiled once again, confident. <laughs> yeah, I want you. Okay then, let's go out. Huh? If you're okay with a guy like me, I'd love to go out with you. I bowed my head. She gave me a wide smile. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, Mamarukin. <laughs> Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. A lot happened since I said something. But I was so glad to be with you. And you brought me along with your wild ride. Hey, let's take a photo. Yeah, but didn't we take a pic before, too? In the same spot, too. But... This time, I'm going to brag to my ex-boyfriend. I'm going to show off my boyfriend. <laughs> I got so many. I guess even I have good luck sometimes. It was Friday night. It was the end of the work week, and I had made it into the supermarket right before it closed. There was a mountain of sales items in front of me. I bought them, of course. How could I not? I couldn't buy this much meat or expensive spices if they weren't on sale. It was in that. Ugh! That gosh darn manager! Stupid butthole! I heard a woman sing profanities from the park. But wait, I've heard this voice before. <laughs> Whatever! I know I'm useless. All I do is screw up. <laughs> Jeez, Psyche? Huh? Sonata? Yeah, it's me. It's Kei Sonata. You... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Chief Kanin Psyche used to be my boss. She was really good at her job and very strict. Some of the other employees said that they didn't like that about her. But I liked her. Because she was very strict with herself too. Chief Psyche was transferred to our parent company about a year ago. She was promoted. I thought she was doing great at her new job. Who knew I would find you like this one year later? <sighs> what? What do you mean, find me like this? I'm shocked. I looked up to you, you know. <laughs> Sorry you know the real me. What happened? Were you dumped or something? <laughs> you really think I would have a guy in my life? Well, of course. You're very pretty. Too bad. Men are afraid of me, so no one comes near me. <laughs> so you're wrong. How many beers have you had? You're gonna get sick. Whatever. It's not whatever. Seriously, what's wrong? <laughs> you really want to know? Sure. I'm the one who asked. Oh, okay. Then you drink this too, okay? Wait, I never said I would do that. What? You don't want to drink with me? Okay, fine. I'll drink this, so please stop shouting. It's already late. You'll make the neighbors angry. Okay then. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Chief, you're starting to creep me out. Shut up. But, Sonata, how long are you going to keep calling me Chief? I'm not your boss anymore. Okay, then what should I call you? Karin. Karin? No, I can't. 
<laughs> I'm joking, it's a joke. You can call me whatever you want. Okay, I'll call you Chief. That's what I'm used to. Nope, that's off limits. You said I could call you whatever I wanted. Can I call you Psyche? Yeah, sure. This is fun. I'm glad you're having fun. It really was fun working with you guys. Everything went smoothly, and I got results for my hard work. How is your new job? It's awful. It's really strict there. Everyone is desperate to hold on to their own jobs. There's a manager who wants to get promoted so bad that they blame their subordinates for their mistakes. But they're also a good worker. I'm just so tired. Psyche told me gradually about what her year had been like. She had been promoted because she was an excellent worker, but her new workplace was filled with excellent people. It was the first time she had hit a wall since she started working. The client even got mad at her. She sometimes couldn't produce the same results as her co-workers who were younger than her. But Psyche was used to working hard and she persevered. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get good results! The harder I tried, the worse it got, and I got in more trouble. <sighs> I don't know what to do anymore. Psyche. It really sucks, Sawada. I'm so stressed I don't sleep well, and food doesn't have any taste anymore, so I only drink alcohol. I hate everything. Hey! <sighs> Are you serious? You fell asleep? Seriously? She's out cold. Um, what am I supposed to do now? All I could do was panic as my old cheese slept on my shoulder. <clears throat> oh, something smells good. Oh, are you finally awake? Zawada? Why? Wait, where is this? I guess you don't remember anything. Huh? First things first. Good morning. Good morning. Is it okay if I explain what happened while we eat? Oh, so you took care of me while I was blacked out. I didn't try anything, I swear. No, I trust you. I'm sorry. I caused you so much trouble. Hey, this miso soup is really good. Right? You're a good cook. How about seconds? Huh? Um, yes, please. Of course, but I'm glad that you're back to eating food. You were yelling yesterday that you can only drink alcohol. But I guess that was a joke. No, I wasn't joking about that. But for some reason, I can actually taste the food today. It's been a while since I thought something tasted good. And you slept really well, too. What are you talking about? Today's Sunday morning. You slept for about 30 hours. Seriously? Of course I was serious. Will you at least let me wash the dishes? I, um, seem to have caused you a lot of trouble. No, that's okay. I kind of like housework anyway. And I can't let a guest wash dishes, you know? Sorry, and thank you. We drank coffee together and Psyche went home. The next day, she told me she wanted to properly thank me. I thought about it and told her. If you want to thank me, keep working hard at your job. You always look amazing working. To be honest, I always looked up to you. And this was supposed to be the end of unusual happenings in my life. But it wasn't. A week later, a new incident occurred. It was next Friday night. I was grilling some expensive meat I had been saving when my doorbell rang. When I opened the door, Psyche was standing there. Huh? What's wrong? Did you forget something? Wait, why do you have that huge bag? I thought I told you that you don't have to pay me back. Take responsibility. Huh? I'm telling you to take responsibility for making my body like this. Are you drunk again? Psyche was not drunk. What is this all about? Something smells good. Oh, I was just making some yakiniku. Do you want some? Yes, please. Mm, oh my goodness, this is so good. 
Sometimes you are useless. Hey, what does that mean? It's like I said, but I'm glad it tastes good. And will you explain to me what's going on? So, it turns out I can't live without you anymore. So you are useless. If you're being the normal psyche, you will explain to me what was going on in proper English. From what I got from Psyche as she kept eating, this was the story. After she went home from my house, she was plagued with insomnia again and wasn't able to eat properly. But since she had remembered what it was like to get a good night's sleep and eat good food, she couldn't go back to her previous life. And she tried really hard to think of a solution, which brought her back here. Although I kinda doubt that she really did try really hard to think of a solution. But anyway, that's the story. And what is in that huge bag? Yeah, so I thought I would stay here for a while. What? I packed everything I needed. Wait, 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 just a second. What are you talking about? Like I said, I need you to take responsibility for making my body like this. Don't say it like that. I swore to you that I didn't touch you. Okay, I'll stop joking. I didn't know you could joke around. My image of you has really changed these past few days. I know, but because I've shown you how I really am, I want to ask you for this favor. You're the only one I can ask. I have an important presentation next month, so it can just be until then. I've been working on it for half a year now, and I really want it to get approved. And I want to do the presentation in perfect condition. Please. I don't know. Please, I'm begging you. Oh. Honestly, I wanted to say no. But images of Psyche kept running through my head. Psyche relying on alcohol to get by. How exhausted she was. That she was trying again even though she said she was tired of everything. I guess you can. So you mean... But only until the next month. You have to follow my rules. Thank you! Thank you so much! And this is how I start living with my old high-achieving boss. Hey, hey, Ske. Why are you smiling even though you look worse every day? It's scaring me. Are you possessed or something? Possessed? Huh. In a way, yes. Seriously? It's really hard to have to hold myself back when something delicious is right in front of me. But it's also fun. What are you talking about? Do you remember Psyche? Psyche? No. Chief. Chief Psyche. Yeah, I remember her. I couldn't forget about her if I tried. She was really tough on me. And she was really pretty. Would you want to date her? No, definitely not. She'd probably be really strict at home, too. She would be great if she relaxed a little. I would like that. Yeah, I think so, too. Why are you talking about Psyche all of a sudden? I was just wondering how she's doing at the main branch. I bet she's doing great. You should be worrying about yourself. And I'm really enjoying how she's totally different than how she is at work. Huh? Nothing? Hey, Sonata! Are you heading home? Yeah. Okay, let's go together. And we're about to run out of toilet paper, so I got some more. Oh, thanks. How much was it? Oh, don't worry about it. I'm gonna use it too. Okay then, give it to me. I'll carry it. Thanks. <laughs> hmm? What is it? No, no, I was just thinking about how you're so manly. I'm just holding the toilet paper. Well, yeah, but... As a woman, it makes me happy. What are you making us for dinner today? I was thinking of making an aqua pasta. I would prefer meat. No, we ate meat yesterday, so we're eating fish today. Okay, whatever you make is always delicious. I'll clean your apartment next weekend. Really? Of course. You haven't cleaned it in over a year. It must be disgusting by now. When I went to get your stuff the other day, it was awful. Okay, well, I guess so. It'll be fun, if you clean it with me. Um, I don't think you should be saying stuff like that to just anyone. They might misunderstand things. 
Misunderstand things? Misunderstanding is a misunderstanding. I don't really get it, but I can say it to you, right? <laughs> yeah. If it's me, it's okay. Okay then, I'll only say it to you. The dark circles on your eyes are gone. I am sleeping really well. Your cheeks are fuller. I've gained some weight back. I was really skinny before, wasn't I? That's great. It really is. And it's all thanks to you. And we talked about this and that as we head to my apartment. I had come to really enjoy this routine. You're working hard today, too. My presentation is only two days away. I hope it goes well. I am going to do everything I can to make sure it succeeds. Otherwise, I can't face you. Here's some coffee. I grind the beans myself, so it should be pretty good. Thanks. Oh, sorry, I spilled some. That's okay. Are you okay? Huh? Your hand's shaking. Oh, <laughs> I wonder why. Everything's going really well, and I feel confident about it. <laughs> but I'm so scared. I'm so scared, I can't stop shaking. I really suck, don't I? Psyche. Hey, if I ask you to help me stop shaking, would you? I would. Really? I was at my wit's end. Is this okay? You're a lot bigger than I thought you were. I am a guy. And you're really warm. It's better than being cold, isn't it? Your hair smells like the same shampoo as mine. We do use a lot of the same things. Like shampoo, and we eat the same dinner, in our daily life. Hey, will you hold me tighter? Okay. More. Okay. More. Even more. Okay. More. More! Like, so tight, I'll feel like you're a part of me. Okay. You'll be okay, Psyche. How do you know? You've always worked so hard. But that doesn't guarantee results! You need to be nicer to yourself. Sorry, I'm not a cute little compliant woman. No. You're cute. Huh? Before, I thought you were cool, but when you started living with me, I noticed how cute you were. I'm just telling you how I feel. Sawada? Like how you're a little ditzy, and how you eat so enthusiastically, and how you toss and turn all night. Hey, are you making fun of me? And how you try so hard at everything you do, and you're a hard worker, and how you don't give up. I've seen all those sides of you, so I know you'll be okay. Oh, my shaking. Yeah, it stopped. Can I ask you for one more favor? Sure. I'll do anything you ask me to. If my presentation succeeds, instead of calling me Seiki, will you call me Karin? <laughs> hey, why are you laughing? Karin, I told you you were cute. Not yet, I haven't even done my presentation yet. I told you, didn't I? You'll be okay. When I'm with you, I can really relax. You mean thanks to me? I guess. Then maybe I can get a reward? What kind of reward? If your presentation succeeds, please go on a date with me. I can't do that. Seriously? You're saying no? Because that would be a reward for me, too. Carding blushed and smiled. She was the most beautiful girl in the world. And it was morning. But today it was different than usual. Karin was holding a big bag with all of her luggage. Today, she was moving out of my apartment. Okay, well, thanks for letting me stay here. It was no trouble. I guess I can't say I'm home at this apartment anymore. Well, you did accomplish your goal. Your presentation was a success, so there's no reason for you to live here anymore. It feels a little lonely. But well, it's not like this is the last time I'll ever see you. Yeah, I know, but... And I'm staying at your place tonight, so I can't say I'm home to this apartment either. Hmm? <laughs> I didn't know you could be so sentimental. I'm not, but you looked a little sad, so I was cheering you up. I'm joking. 
I know, thanks. All right, I've got to get going now. Be careful. I will. Thanks. Okay, Asuke, I'm off. Have a good day, Carney. We're celebrating today, so I'll be cooking you some meat tonight. Yay, I can't wait. Today was our last day living together. But that didn't mean things were over between us. Yesterday, Kari and I's relationship had changed. And I think every day is going to be much, much better from now on. I, Ryota Sakagami, attend a school where there's a beautiful girl whom no one can help but stop and look. Her name is Sakura Shiomi, and she's a junior, but more importantly, my classmate. She is known for not liking men. She's kind to girls, but she looks like boys like she's looking at an insect. But she's so cute that boys don't care. Hmm? What are you looking at? Huh? You've been staring at me. It's grossing me out. No, no, that's a misunderstanding. I, I was just zoned out. I don't like being stared at. You wouldn't like it if someone else just stared at you too, right? Y yeah. Don't do something you wouldn't want others to do to you. She left me with those tough words. Phew, I was so scared. She was absolutely right. She was almost always right. But her cool attitude is always terrifying and sends shivers down my spine. She's so cute, but... Yeah. I'm pretty sure no one's gonna be interested in her with that attitude. When I started high school, I wanted to get along with her. But by the time I was a junior, I didn't have any stupid dreams like that. I don't think I'm ever gonna get along with her. Or so I thought. One weekend, I went out to buy manga. What the hell? I said no! I heard a familiar voice. It was... It's fine. You just gotta come with me a little. Stop pestering me! I said no! It is Shiomi-san. Yeah, when you say no like that, I insist you come with me. No! Sorry. A man is always gonna be stronger than a woman. Stop. She's my girl. What? Who the hell are you? Let go of her. Or do you want to start something? Ha! Or what? Are you familiar with the sound of the police? Whoop, whoop. What? You called the cops? You didn't seem like you're the type to back off just because I warned you. I'm gonna do everything I can to protect my girlfriend. Damn it! You better watch your back! He said, running away like a loser. He must not be the brightest bulb of the bunch. Um... Oh, sorry about lying that you were my girlfriend. No, it's okay, you saved me. Thank you. Huh, that's surprising. The Shiomi-san thanking a boy. You thought of something rude, didn't you? What are you talking about? I didn't think of anything. I felt a presence of rudeness about you. She's really good. I wasn't being rude or anything, but... I'm not thinking of anything rude. Okay. Anyway, we have to explain what happened to the police. Oh, that won't be necessary. I was just passing by. Huh? You didn't call the cops? I don't know when you started getting bothered, but cops aren't doing nothing either, you know? They can't get here that quick. So you lied about the police. Yeah, I heard sirens, so... I figured that kind of person isn't very good around police, so he'd run away. If I didn't hear sirens, I would have just pretended to be your boyfriend to get away. Hmm. You seem like a good person, but you're kind of scheming, aren't you? I don't plan to use that against anyone, though. I'm gonna go now. I don't want to be with her that much, since she doesn't like boys. That's what I thought, but... Wait! Apparently she didn't want to let me go. Um, are you worried about that guy coming back? No, I want to thank you, and I want to ask you for a favor. Come with me. I didn't really know what was going on, but I followed her. We ended up at... This is my house. Her house for some reason? Why are we at your house? I need to thank you and talk to you about something important. What are, what are we going to talk about? I'm really in the school Madonna's house. I cannot believe that she's a human like me. Her room smells so good. This is what a girl's room is like. I think I might have used my whole life's worth of luck up. Stop standing around and doing nothing. Sit there. Huh? But that's a bed. Is that a problem? 
I feel like it's nothing but a problem. Come on, sit. I guess I can sit? I was worried, but she was inviting me, so I listened. I was in her room, with just her, on her bed. Who would believe me? I'm pretty sure no one. First off, thank you for a second ago. You really helped me out. No, I didn't do much. But you saved me, so I need to thank you. She's pretty formal, huh? I don't even know what to do to thank you. I mean, I don't know either. Yeah, I figured. Do you like cookies? Huh? Yeah, I like cookies. Great. I'll bake you some cookies then. You like baking? I like making cookies. I like eating cookies too. I see. She likes cookies. Noted. I didn't know if I would ever use that knowledge, but I decided I would remember it just in case. Shiomi-san started baking cookies for me. She said she liked baking, and I could tell with how efficiently she was doing everything. It's so good! <laughs> right? She's so proud. It's cute. She's like Shion. I thought she was just a scary girl that didn't like boys, but there might be more to her. And Shion is my sister, three years younger than me. Yeah, it's so good. Great job. I didn't know what I was doing, but I pet her head without thinking about it. She's gonna get pissed now. M what are you doing? I, uh, you know, it just smelled so good that it was like I was at a restaurant or something. I just wanted to really compliment you. I couldn't tell her that it was because she looked proud like my younger sister. She's pissed. I just realized that I'm totally acting high and mighty by saying I want to compliment her. Maybe that pissed her off more? Uh, huh? You're a boy. You need more, right? Go ahead. Oh, she's... not mad? Okay then, thanks. She's staring at me. I don't know what I was thinking. I could feel myself sweating bullets. When I finished eating, she continued staring at me. She started looking more like a puppy now, though. Maybe she wants something? Um, it was really good. Okay. She's looking anxious. I need to do something. I thought about what I did, and there was one thing that came to mind. This, maybe? Oh. <laughs> I had never seen this childish face on her at school. Is there a man in the world that wouldn't fall for this adorable face? What is this girl? She's too cute. Uh, uh. What's wrong? You forget about what you just saw. If you tell anyone, I'm going to be so mad. I won't tell anyone. Even if I did, they wouldn't believe me. I don't think you need to worry about it too much. You were cute. Oh, I mean, sorry. I don't mean anything weird by it. Why do I keep saying these things? I was... cute? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, of course. Okay then, I'll forgive you, I guess. Huh? She's happy? <clears throat> oh, there's something I wanted to ask of you. She changed the topic, and I was relieved. I could feel myself calm down. You did say that. What was it you wanted? Well, can you play the role of my boyfriend? Boyfriend? Me? Role, just the role. I didn't say be my boyfriend. Yeah, but what do you mean? I'm really annoyed because a bunch of boys keep flirting with me. If you play the boyfriend role, then they'll leave me alone. That's it, nothing weird. I couldn't say no, so I just accepted playing her boyfriend role, but... Sh Shiomi-san has a boy? She hates boys! Who is that man? That Monday, I went to school with Shiomi-san and the school was a mess. She is so popular. <laughs> it's working. But they're all looking at me with very hostile eyes. It's fine. If you stay around me at school, it's no problem. You can come over to my house after school, too. Your house. Well, we're dating, so if we don't do that, at least, they'll think something is weird. Was there really a reason for me to do all of this? I understand it's school, but... Oh well, she was smarter than me, so I just accepted what she said. At her house. Here, have some cookies. She baked me some cookies for some reason. Maybe because I said I like them? 
That's what I thought, but... She started looking anxious once again after I finished the cookies. I'd seen this behavior before. You want pats? Yeah. <laughs> she was waiting for me to pat her head like before. Is she like an angel? She's too cute. My parents are at work today, so you can take your time. Okay, thanks. Someone might misunderstand this. She was probably just trying to help me relax. But if we were really dating, it would mean something else. I felt really weird about that. We spent more time together. She follows me around at school, and even more so at her house. It was honestly too cute. Just being around her made me happy. We kept this up, and then one day... Hey, Sakura-chan! How about you drop the loser and come with me? The man that was talking to her was Kuzutani. He was well known for fooling with multiple girls at once. Yeah, in your dreams, buddy. Oh, come on. I'm so much better than that boring loser. He's probably only kind, right? That's all he's got going for him? Besides, you- I want him. I like how great he is at spoiling me and how kind he is. I don't want a man who only judges people based on their looks. <sighs> I was surprised. Normally she was so calm that seeing her get this emotional was rare. She might just be pretending to be my girlfriend, but it was nice to hear anyway, so I decided to play my role too. I'm not only judging based on looks. Oh, hey, give me a second of your attention. Huh? What is it, nerd? I know that you like to mess with girls who have boyfriends, but are you sure about this? That girl that you were fooling around with before, she's dating a very scary and tough-looking man. What? It won't be a problem if no one finds out. She won't tell anyone, because she's going to be scared if he finds out too. That's what you were bragging to your friends, right? You really should be careful. You never know who's watching or how information spread in this day and age. Especially when you're fooling around with a scary man's girlfriend. No. I was just because I was bored and... I know, I know. You were just trying to look like a badass to your friends, right? But that has nothing to do with me. And if you're going to mess with my girl, then I'm going to send this to that scary, scary man in a heartbeat. I already have his number. No. He's going to send me to the hospital. Okay. Then you'll never talk to Sakura again? I won't. I swear. Then get the hell out of our sight. Yeah. Sorry, man. He took off running. He's more of a pansy than I thought. I mean, I would prefer that over the alternative. Thank you, Ryudakin. It's okay. He was bothering me too, so I just chased him off is all. I mean, even if I didn't jump in, you would have been able to chase him off. I probably did something extra, huh? No, I was happy. Okay, great. How did you have that photo? Oh yeah, that kind of person is usually despised by his friends too. I figured if I just kind of sneak into that group, I can find his weakness. Why did you need to find his weakness anyway? You didn't like him? There are people who don't respect boundaries. And I just want to protect myself from people like that is all. Wow. <laughs> I know how popular you are. I had to do it. But still, that's incredible. I'm so glad you're my boyfriend. After this, she clung on me even more. It seems like she's going to rely on me more. I spent so much time with her that... ryota -kun, it's morning. Wake up. Let's go to school. She even comes to wake me up every morning for school. Yeah, you guessed it. We really started dating. A few months after I helped her out, we're now known as the cutest couple in the school. A lot of people tease us. I'm sure there are going to be some difficulties going forward, with how popular she is. But I'm going to work hard to make sure I can keep her. By the way, among some of the delinquents, there are rumors about how you shouldn't make Sakagami your enemy. Apparently, since I use my knowledge to exploit their weakness, I'm considered someone not to be messed with. I'm okay with that, though. So I'm just going to let that information circulate. Sir, give us a speech! Yeah, you guys worked wonderfully under pressure. I know this was a tough project, but great job! Let's work hard and efficiently like this on projects to come. Cheers! My name is Shuya Uragawa. I'm the CEO of a small IT company. I started this company when I was a junior in college, and at age 26, the company has grown to where it has a stable position in the market. We're not doing too bad for ourselves. 
You're drinking fast, sir. You're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, I'll be careful. Sarah Oshimi. She's two years younger than me and is a very reliable employee. She supported me from the first year that we started. And if she wasn't here, we probably would have gone under. I'm so glad she stayed with us. Is there something on my face, sir? Oh, sorry. I was just zoned out. I see. You were staring at me, so I thought maybe you were falling for me. Uh, oh, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> I trust her, and I honestly do have a little interest in her. But I'm sure she's got a boyfriend. <laughs> I'm just joking. You don't have to take me so seriously. Wait, she seems a little... upset? What is your type, Udagawa-san? Huh? Why do you ask? I mean, we never talk about stuff like this and we rarely get the chance to drink, so... I mean, yeah, I guess we only talk about business most of the time. My type, huh? A dark long-haired beauty, I think. Crap, I just told her the truth! This is totally an image of her! Hmm, that's surprising. I thought you'd be more interested in a preppy type. No, that's not true. Then what about personality? What do you look for? Why is she asking me so much about my type? Uh, sorry, uh, I gotta run to the bathroom. Go ahead. We'll continue this when you get back. Uh, okay. Oh, she's not gonna let this go. Phew, I've calmed down. But she's got a boyfriend, right? Why is she asking me all these questions? Huh? Shuya? Wait, Nana? Yeah. How many years has it been? I forgot about your existence, let alone that we were dating. Cool. I honestly forgot about you, too. Oh, you're lying. I know that you would never forget about dating a beautiful woman like me. You're still just as full of yourself... I mean, confident, as I remember. Yeah, because I'm perfect. Okay, cool. I'm glad you're doing alright. You still work at that company? What, Kano Trading Firm? <laughs> I quit that place a long time ago. Huh? Why? That was such a great opportunity for you. You were bragging about how great the pay was when they offered you the position. It just wasn't for me. This ugly boss was trying to tell me what to do. It's insane, right? I think it's pretty normal for a boss to give orders. I don't think looks matter. That's not true. What the hell is she talking about? I can't believe that they hired her. I kind of feel bad for the boss, though. So, you found a new place to work then? Of course not. Huh? Then how are you earning money? I live at my parents' house, so it's totally easy. And I'm going to marry my Prince Charming and become a housewife, so I don't need to work. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be leaving now. Huh? You wanna hear what kind of person he is? Nope, don't care. If you care so much, I'll tell you. Are you listening to me? Come on. My boyfriend is someone that I found at Kano Trading Firm. Oh, cool. And? In other words, he makes so much more money than you. Ah, that's what you wanted to say. Uh, yeah, maybe. Not maybe, for sure. You're still at that company, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm the CEO. Oh, you haven't abandoned ship, huh? Oh, I'm so glad I broke up with you. Three years ago. Hey, are you seriously not going to look for a job? Yeah, I decided that I want to grow my company. I'm going to break up with you right now unless you propose to me. Wait, hang on! No! Dating a CEO? Sure, that's attractive, but your tiny, dinky little company is gonna go under in a heartbeat. I'm working hard to make sure that doesn't happen. You're pretty good at interviews. If you just find a company, you'll find a decent place of employment. I'm going to make the company get on track before we graduate, so just wait a little while longer. 
Then if your company isn't a decent size by the time we graduate, we're done. Okay, just hang tight. I worked hard and poured my blood, sweat, and tears into this company. I had several people in my employ by the time I graduated. We're on track, and I think she should be happy. What's going on? Hey, let's break up. What? Why? What do you mean? You know where I'm working, right? Yeah, Kano Trading Firm. It's a big company, a good place to work, I think. Right? It looks like your company has solidified a little bit more, but compared to Kano, it's not worthy of my time, you know? I'm going to find a boyfriend at my new workplace who's making so much more money than you. I've only got everything to lose dating you. But... Also, it's pretty gross that you're working so hard. If you work at a nice company, you can live a comfortable life. Bye, Shuya. Enjoy your hard-working, labor-intensive, poor life. So how's your company now? I'm sure it sucks. I don't really care what you think, but it's doing pretty good. We just finished a big project, so we're out celebrating. Ah, so your employees are here too? Yeah, we're all having fun here. We've got a great group of people. Hmm, which seats? Why are you asking? Because I want to go look, of course! What? Hell no! I'm not gonna take you! Why? I wanna look. I don't know what you're gonna do. Okay, I'm going. Yeah, yeah, bye. Well, that went smoother than I thought. Maybe she's grown up more than I expected. You took a long time, udagawa san Yeah, I ran into someone I know. Uh, you mean the person behind you? Huh? Ah, uh, these are your employees, huh? Why the hell did you follow me? Because you wouldn't have brought me if I just asked you regularly. Yeah, because I know you're just gonna be a dick. Who is this, udagawa san Um, someone I know, and I kind of just ran into her. I'm his ex. I see. Hmm? Are you jealous of me? Oh, don't worry. I won't take this crappy man from you. I have a boyfriend that works at a big company and not some small venture firm like yours. I see. I don't care about your boyfriend. Can you leave? We're having a great time with everyone here and you're ruining the mood. Shuya, what the hell is this? You are really full of yourself when you're just a small-time employee at some small-time company. Hey, she's my valuable employee. You better not mock her. You're gonna piss me off. Ugh, <sighs> whatever. This is boring, so I'm leaving. Great. Don't ever come here again. I don't want to deal with any of you small-timers anyway. She ran away like she was some kind of shitty villain in a movie. What exactly was her motive? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I think she just wanted to mock my employees. She was mocking us, but does she not know our ages or average pay? Yeah, she's not exactly the studious type. I don't think she even remembers my company name from the looks of it. Oh, then I guess it's a waste of my energy to even think about that, huh? Yeah, if you could just pass it off like that, I'd really appreciate it. But everyone did get annoyed by her. Okay, fine. I'll pay for everything! Woo! Thanks, boss! How generous of you. I mean, I'm the one that caused the issues. Okay, then I will eat up. Yeah, go for it. Let's continue our talk while we eat, then. She kept asking me about my romantic preferences. Two weeks after the party. Hey, Oshimi-san. I was thinking about heading out. Are you going to work late still? Nah, I'm going to wrap up soon. Okay, I'm going to go empty the humidifier tank then. You're the CEO of the company and you still do things like clean up around the office. Well, yeah. Everyone's working hard, you know? I want to help you guys out too. I mean, most of the time someone's already figured out what I was going to do and done it for me though. But it's the way you act around the office that makes us happy. Okay, well, great. Udagawa san how about the two of us go for drinks since we're both done? I don't mind, but are you okay with just the two of us? What about your boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. What? 
Really? Yeah. Why did you think I had one? I don't know. Just a hunch. She's a little blunt, but she's got a great personality. And she's beautiful. So I think most people would assume she's got a boyfriend. You can tell me more about it when we go out for drinks. I was planning on talking about romance again anyway. We talked about it last time, and there's not much else... I want to hear more about your ex. I don't know about that. We closed up shop and headed out, but... Hey, Nana. How long are we supposed to stay here? I want to leave. I might run into someone from work. Almost just hang on a little longer. Oh, perfect. They both came. Nana! What are you doing here? I wanted to introduce you to my boyfriend from before. How did you figure out where we were? I looked up your name and figured out what company you work at and where you work. What do you want to accomplish? I don't care about your boyfriend. No offense. Wait. I know this guy. Are you being serious right now? You asked me to not work so late so I came rushing to you. And this is why you brought me? What do you mean? What's wrong with trying to show off my boyfriend? Literally everything about this is wrong. It's embarrassing and wrong for you to do this as a human. It's insulting, so please don't do that. And it's them of all people too. I I'm sorry, sir. I'll make sure this doesn't happen again. Oh, so it is you, Yamada-san. Yes, sir. I'm sorry for this mess. You guys have been nothing but a pleasure to work with. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? We work with them, and he's the CEO of a very important client. N no way! But his company is tiny. Uh, there's no way he could ever deal with a big company like Kano. Yeah, it's small, but it's a great company. You need to study these things before you start mocking people. No way! Your estimated yearly salary is $300,000 a year? I think that site is pretty accurate. Yeah, I think it's around that. How do you not know your client's companies? You literally worked at Kano Trading Firm. I didn't know about the clients. I didn't need to in my department. That's not the problem. I'm saying you need to know that if you work at the company. What? That's so lame. You keep complaining, I'm going to dump your lousy ass. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to deal with crazy anyway. Sorry so much for everything, sir. No, don't worry about it. Thank you, sir. I'll see you around. Yamada-san left after apologizing. All right, let's go get our drinks, huh? Yeah, sounds good. Wait, hang on! What? We're done here. I was dumped! Don't you feel bad for me? No, that was totally your fault. Oh, don't be like that. How about we try to fix things, huh? What? I mean, it's not like I dumped you for your personality and your face. I just figured if your salary is better, then we could make it work. You really only think about yourself, don't you? You really think I want to try to work things out with you now? I like Oshimi-san right now, and I don't care about you anymore. Stop bothering me. What? If you come in front of my company and wait for me again, I'm gonna call the cops. But... Come on, let's go, Oshimi-san. I ignored Nana and went to a bar with Oshimi-san. <sighs> sorry about that. Again. I don't mind, but, like, did you just confess to me? Huh? Confess? Ah! Did you just say that to get out of the situation? No, that's not it. You always help me, and I really do like you. But uh, I always thought you had a boyfriend, and I thought that if you rejected me, I'd never get over it and it would affect our work, so... I didn't want to say anything. Why do you assume I'd reject you? Huh? I like you too, but you're the CEO, and if you reject me, then things would get really awkward for me. You're the CEO, but you do all kinds of grunt work around the office and always take care of your employees. I like how kind you are. Will you go out with me? Yes, of course! You're always supporting me. But this time I'm going to work hard to support you, too. 
Okay, I'm going to work hard to keep supporting you. I had my heart broken once, but this time, I think I'm going to have a good relationship. One week later, I wasn't sure if I should say anything, but since it's going to eventually get out anyway, I'll tell you all now. I started dating Oshimi-san, starting last week. Just an FYI. But we swear it will not affect our work performance at all. Huh? You guys haven't been going out this whole time? I thought you guys were going out this whole time! And you guys were just in a perpetual fight! <coughs> Me too! We haven't been dating until last week! Seriously? I'd always admired your relationship. That's nice. I'm slower than I thought. <laughs> but that's okay, because I'm like that too. Maybe we're perfect for each other. We're going to support each other going forward. 